Hello everyone, welcome back to Mansion Story. Now, I've actually managed to uh, figure out the puzzle of how to get to the chest. So just follow my instructions and you'll be fine. I, I feel like a goddamn genius. <laughs> right, so it's one, two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one. There we are! There's a button here. Press it. Yes. I, I, like I, like I said, like I just feel like a goddamn genius. You have no idea the amount of times I had to rewatch um that the clip I recorded of that ghost boy running and just to record what the hell I had to do. Oh my god! But finally, I figured it out. Right. <clears throat> He is Eki, but reaches hand to the chest. His palm almost had the reach of the maroon button until... I got stabbed in the face. <laughs> Something's cut my arm! Hideki would struggle and pull his hand back, but it resulted in no process being made. The chest would then close as he felt a sharp pain in his arm. Hideki yelped in pain as he used the other arm to try and pull it out, which once resulted in no use. The chest repeatedly tried to... What? It was open. When I was sewing into Hideki's face, Brown, it started pulling me that he began to yell. No, I don't want to die, he yelled, trying to fight, but the monster had him and now been pulled to the chest shortly. So he saw was two red eyes before he blacked out. He felt something go straight through his body and... Oh. Oh. Uh. Mm. Okay, I, I get it. I, I, I just... Uh. Hmm. Uh. Well, um, hmm. Okay, I'm I'm missing something else. <laughs> Fuck you yeah, out, right? What? Wait, so then, what are you supposed to do? Okay, whatever. You... Puzzle. Follow the trail and deny. Please, 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 just don't grab the item in the chest. What if I just say no then? Uh. I need my god to First button here. Press it. No. But then... What? Well, ho, I'm back. Right, I figured out that apparently uh, you are supposed to press no on the chest and then... Um, like, several times and then press yes. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Right. What's... There we go. So I'm in the game. Everybody's super sonic racing. Right, right, there's a button here. Press it. I'm gonna do this several times just in case. Like, about five times. There we go. I'll keep my notebook right about here. <laughs> right. <clears throat> hmm? Right. That should activate the door. That should probably save. Let's go and uh, figure it out, shall we? Alright, that should be open now. There we go. Um. Oh, hello. <laughs> How's it going, dude? How's it hanging? The studies. This room. It feels familiar. How does it? Oh, there's a note on the table over there. Oh, okay. Nothing important here. I thought Otsuka would be here, but it looks like it's another dead end. The only thing I found here is another diary entry. Another day locked down here in my studies. I had no time to go e to even go upstairs with my family. It seems that even our money is gone. I don't know what to do anymore. 
I have absolutely no idea what to do anymore. Not too long ago, my wife just entered the room too. Someone was knocking on the door, she asked. We barely got any visitors, so I decided to go with her and the kids and the kids to check out what it was. A salesman. He had asked to stay in our mansion for the night, since it was a cold, rainy night. We let him stay with us. It was a horrible mistake. After that day he left. Nothing in the house was the same. Our son was going insane. We have restrained him in his room to take medicine. We don't know what's going on with him, but we hope that we can cure him soon. I wonder if... Uh, no, I can't think of that now. I find a Suko. Oh yeah, the girl that you, you made run away, you idiot. Oh, never mind. Found it! <laughs> it's Suko! It's Suko, wake up! You've got to be okay! Right, right? The dicky slowly moved his interface and moved towards her hand, pressing it against her mane. Sensing a beat, he sighed in relief as he wrapped his arms around her. He felt happy, he found his friend again. He slowly fell asleep afterwards, knowing that the terrors and weight in them in the mansion is yet to be seen. So many thoughts flowing through my mind. I felt darkness surrounding us, as if there was also a presence here. I locked the door. When I entered the room, thinking that the monster would have appeared again, if I hadn't locked it, I took a whistle. Okay. The floor was really cold, so I decided to carry her to a bridal, bridal style into bed and tucking her in. It made me blush, to be honest. There I was, sitting motionlessly as I stared at my properly injured friend. And all, it's all my fault. I had yelled at her like that. It's my fault. Serves you right. So I'm sorry I didn't mean to say those hurtful words. I was angry. Don't look at me. Me angry. Just go away, you good for... <laughs> oh, how convenient. <laughs> Thanks for giving us that flashback. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I know what happens. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Um, oh, do I? Oh, no, I didn't mind. <laughs> uh, hmm? Atsuka? You, you awake? Hmm, Hideki? Yeah, it's me. I was so scared. I was so stupid to fight with you and tell us to come here. I was scared and dumb for leaving you. I was terrified of the darkness. It's just horrible. Hobble begin in here. That's not, that's not. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> this is horrible being, not begin. <laughs> in here alone, you know. No one to even, no one to even talk to. It raises the risk of dying. It's okay. I felt extreme fear of a corpse I saw back there too. I thought it was you, and I panicked. I'm glad I found you though. I'm gonna go look around a little more. Stay here and rest up a bit, okay? Now! Thank God someone has a common sense. I've got to tell you something. Hmm? What is that? That there is no way in hell I'm staying here alone. I'm accompanying you. Yeah, let's go together. Let's go if we stay together while searching the way out. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to die in here, right? Let's go then. I found a key earlier, so I think it will help us. Right, I'll wait for you outside. Stupid idea, but okay. <laughs> ah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Nuggy. Nuggy. Huh, ever since we became friends, I promise we'd be friends forever. Help each other out no matter what. But I'm feeling a strong emotion I've felt before. Ah, it's love story, of course it is, you little yeah. Right, time to head back to her dicky. Let me guess he's not good he's not there. Oh no he is. Right then, let's keep looking for an exit. Hey, we got our friend back. Uh let's go back in here. I'm sure there must have been something we can Ah little Hello. Goodbye. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He gives up rather easy. He just looked at the stairs and went, ah, nah. You beat me. Those goddamn stairs, I'm... You got me good there, buddy. You got me good. Alright. 
gonna assist. I think it's for this one here. Use the key. Knew it. I am a goddamn genius. Sure is dark in there. Hmm. But there's no other w other place to look at. We're going. We're going to have to go down there either way. It would seem so. No point in arguing. Uh, that looks. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. That looks a bit off. Hmm. It's the smudges. Mm. It sure is dark in here, that's for sure. Well, just be careful, alright? Alright. Why is she suddenly worried? Wait. No, that's right, she has a fear of the dark. Hey, if you want, you could grab my hand. You don't have to worry about it. At the same time, the cheeks went crimson red, and she slowly nodded gravity and take his hand with a smile, feeling safer in his comfort. Dead into the abyss we go! Hideki and Asuka began to walk down the corridor searching for a door to hope to find something. So you think you're so smart, huh? <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> you're quite the looker right now. What? But you're just going to run here on out. Just walk, walk. You run until your flesh gets a soft and mushy like soap. Nah. And your eyeballs spill out of your head like raw eggs. Nah. Well, you produce will be fuller than any toilet. Nah. <laughs> and every part of you, your face, your mouth, your bowels. Oh, I'm um, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, were you gonna? Can you say the rest of that line, please? <laughs> you just... What did I just step on? <laughs> I think I was too scared to even move. She turned around to see the dim light of the door open. But the problem is, there is no light and the door behind them was closed. He grabbed hold of Hideki's hand even harder before th and they wanted to leave. Suddenly as they began to walk again, they hear something else. Like <laughs> Not funny. Didn't laugh. <laughs> what in the world was that? Thoughts were streaming rapidly through my mind, initially, even though I couldn't see. I could feel Atsuko go pale from fear. Anxiety began to build up in both of us. However, anxiety turned to panic. She was whimpering loudly with fear. I tried to calm her. No, no, no! I don't want to get out! Get! Oh, God damn it! It's okay, wait, come back! I know he's so pretty, but the best idea that I was to learn her. I was over. Followed her running, shrills heard. As I followed her, a loud thump was heard. I suddenly felt contact with the back of her body. She turned around and yelled loudly. Get away! Whatever the heck you are, Hideki, save me! Don't worry, it's me. Going down to her level with the fact she was on her knees, I look up at what she crashed into. I reached hand and felt a no- <laughs> 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 god damn it. Hmm, <laughs> there's a door. Oh, thank god it's a door. <laughs> I thought it was something else. <laughs> huh? There is. There seems to be no line there, too, thank god. Oh my Jesus Christ. This wasn't the time to be Zanny. I knew this. I just leaving this room and it's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as everything for done for me, the shrunk of luck it is. We had a bedroom. And had two beds. Clear of the monster. Ah, a place to rest. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Parents' bedroom. Fine, a place to rest. It also seems better than resting on the floor bed. Ah, come on. We should probably look around here. Well, okie dokie. That was, uh, that was something. Right, what's this? A statue of the man is on the table. For obviously, who has it? Eh? An old clock. It doesn't need to be ticking. Um, what about you? So, oh, yeah, the bank. A statue of a man. Yeah, yeah. What's this? I thought... Hang on a sec. Oh, that tea's still going. A pot of tea. He seems to have very hot. Judge from the smoke flowing out of it. Why don't you do have some tea? Pop of flowers. Look like they're in good condition, as if they were recently watered. Well, at least the only's taking good care of the mansion. A mirror. It seems to see that our reflections aren't shining. 
Well, at least I have a place to hide in. The wardrobe seems to be made of sharp objects. Okay. Why don't we just use one of those sharp objects? A situation with the night. If you're still watching us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Let's see what's in here. Diary entry number two. The day has been rather gloomy. Last night, a bunch of events happened. I was finally heading to bed after a huge argument with my wife over Aiko getting stabbed by Duchi. We were both astonished by this. But it was just another moment they were going through. Maybe he got mad at her for something. Although, these events happened after the mysterious person stayed here the other night. So we had to separate the kid's room temporarily. Tempor so we had to separate the kid's room temporarily until they began... I feel like temporarily would have been the best option instead of temporary until... Until they began to get along again. I was in the kitchen with my wife after the stabbing happened. What the hell is wrong with you? He almost killed her! Mitchy yelled at me. But he's our son! Are you suggesting we kill him? I yelled back. No, but... Mitchy just stayed silent. We both agreed to speak over it in the morning. I think what was left of the blood came from Eko's wounds. Afterwards, as I head down to my bed, my wife was already asleep, but I lay down. I believe it was already 1 in the morning, too. I tried my best to sleep. I suddenly heard the door to our room open and quickly sat up. Everything was dark. Not even our windows would light up the room. Light the room outside. But I felt a presence in the room. And then, the lit... The lit for a s- the lit- what? Ugh. It lit up for a second. My son was standing there, in front of the entrance to the bedroom, wide-eyed and not moving a single muscle. Not too long after, he began to sob. I wanted to comfort him, but I felt that it was dangerous. Nobody is safe, he said before. Taking off, I had been frightened. He had a metal object that I found out was a knife. Something was wrong with our son. I have to help him. Okie dokie. Looks like this family is going through some, um, messed up beluga loot. What's this? Books are nearby and stacked on the shelf. Obviously. Uh, is there something in there? The mirror is placed on the table. The drawer seems to have old jewelry. It's a bit of a squeeze in it. Okay. I guess we just go onto the bed. Ah! Two beds. I'm tired after searching for you. I was really tired. I feared that monster would get me. Heh. <sighs> I'm sorry I made it more difficult than it was to find me. We shouldn't argue like that next time. It's okay, Atsuko. Don't worry about it. We were both stressed. I'm really sleepy. Uh, now what? Alright. <laughs> and so we spent the night in this horrible mansion. What are our parents thinking right now? Are they worried about us? So many questions are rapidly being thrown in my mind. It made me feel nervous. It feels better than a floor bed. But that is surprisingly clean. Uh, that's quite true. I have to agree on that. Hey, Atsuko. Hmm? I have to ask you something important. Something I really need advice for. And you're the only person who can help with it. Ah, tell you what it is, Hideki. I'm happy to listen. Well, that Shizuka girl in our class... I think she's been. Yeah, yeah, it's a love change. I came here to play a horror game, not to play bloody romance. <clears throat> Sometimes. Ah, well. You should try to be friends with her. Afterwards, some time has passed, you can ask her out. Thanks for the advice, let's go. I knew I could get some advice from you. Well, I guess I'm heading to sleep for now. Night, that's okay. <laughs> Good night, boss. This monster is probably chasing us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Money, let's go. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Can you stop running away or disappearing for five seconds? God damn it. What the hell? Let's go. Where are you? <laughs> eh. How? How was I so stupid to? I've got to close the. T <laughs> God damn it! Ah, uh, Dicky said the door having some nail dragging marks on it. It looks like someone will be dragged out of here. The bits of orange hair on the floor. Well, she's dead. <laughs> nah, forget it. She's dead. <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Yeah, yeah, I get the point. I have no other choice right now. 
I have to go find her, no matter what. Um, hmm? What? Oh, it did something unlock. I think something just unlocked. Let's go and find out, shall we? Can I go through there? I should tell where the source of the noise is coming from, even if I'm totally scared. Okay, okay. Um, is it here? Is there something in here? Oh, hello. Eh? Ah, no, don't hurt me. I don't want to die. Hey, calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. Uh, okay. All right, you're calm. What's your name? I'm Maku, a college freshman. Itaki Yoshiki. All right, I came here with my friends. They're all dead, though. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> we heard about the rumors. The monster caught the man. I came here with my best friend, Asuko. She lost, she's lost inside the mansion. I'm searching for her right now. I want to escape. I have to get back. My sister. I'm her only family. I can't let anything. Want to come along? While searching for my friend, we can hopefully escape. Right. I don't want to cause trouble, then. Let's get to it. Why do I get the feeling that he's going to betray me? Righty-ho. That's, um... That's a goal. What the? We're here instantly. As if the dark court that never existed. We should check in the basement. The room where I found Otsuko. There's no other place but here. Well, glad you're giving me directions. Alright, what's happened here? What? It can't be. She was just to be here. She has to. Well, she's not. No, she has to be here. Why? Why? Oh, let me go. She's gonna cry. Why did this man should touch <laughs> that, That's an odd expression. Whoa. Ah! Earthquake! Why? This never happened before. Why now, out of all times? Meanwhile... Ah! I see the only just got tired of us and threw us in the garden. Like, <laughs> hmm. I need some weird taking care of. Can you cut them? <laughs> Hmm, where am I? Crap, Hideki. Hideki, where are you? God, not the dark. Why the dark? I took it begins to happen eventually, feeling lightheaded. After it, she tried to calm down. Successfully not, okay? I had to find a way out of here, right now. Oh, he's, oh. I guess that's. The doorknob can be turned perfectly. However, every object prevents it. <laughs> Cap. We said we need to skip some option. Alrighty. What's this? Nothing. What's in here? Uh, I don't know. God, it's very dark in there, but there's no other place to go. I'm going in. Oh, this is just absolutely goddamn delicious, isn't this? Okay, yeah, let's see. Let's just see if we can there. Right. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. That seems to be splashed with the wall. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Let's get a bones. At least the room's not that big. Hey, excuse me, I've got hiccups. Oh, I just touched this door, but I don't know if something happens. Ah, oh, okay. I know where to go. Excuse me. Alright, time to get out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Stupid box always came me in. <laughs> yep. They sure did, buddy. What the? Uh, yeah, 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 I know that. That's just. I should head back into the entrance of the room with you all. Maybe there's something there. What? Ugh, fine, if you if you want to go back where the bloody orb thing is. Oh, that's not there before. Oh god, I don't know what to do anymore. This is just too crazy. Why did Dolce stab her to death? God, this family's tearing apart. Why must my little angel be taken away from me? My husband has gone worse. I didn't believe so, but he has. 
that person you're staying in our house. He must have done something right. It's the only explanation. We were all so happy and now my son has run away. I can't take this anymore. I'll leave my final note. My sweet dear husband. I want to apologize so much for this. But I, his, more, goo, I, more, ness, corrupt, I, you. That is on me, will do to the best, being either hardly written or just on selling amount of blood. Jesus, this is horrible. Well, this is uh, lovely, isn't it? Oh. Oh, let me guess, I'm gonna get chased. Let's just. Let's go. Someone is there. No! No! Of course. I have to get away. Yep, I'm, I'm going. I am on my way. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Oh. Where am I even going? I don't know even where I'm going. God damn it. Well, isn't that just great? Isn't that just great? But either way, I think I've, um, I've recorded enough for today. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Um... Obviously, I'm going to be continuing the series. It's it's an interesting game so far, and um, I think um, I'm looking forward to it. But if you enjoyed this episode, why don't you like, comment, favor, and subscribe to see more content like this? And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care now.